I can hear you. I oh, know, well, I've paid for them now, so it's all right. How are you, bro? Yeah, not too bad, yeah? How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't do that at all, so. What, is it like work or just in stuff like this could be quite good for the gym. Yeah. For leg day. It's fair enough. You're not into shoes anymore? Not really. I was never really into shoes. I only really like Jordans. Uh, like the ones. Oh. So it's more into fitness, but. Fair enough. Uh, lucky. I can come and grab them all then, yeah. I suppose. It's just easy. Yeah, they're cool. It's a shame, so they came with this box. Yeah, so I bought these ones off eBay. Yeah, I can tell because it's got the QR code. Yeah, so this is, usually obviously it comes in the brown box, so. so. I think I bought all my eBay apart from the off white, which I got from Just Kicks London. No, no, no. It must just be a replacement box. But they're legit, so it's fine. Nice pair, do you remember what you paid for them? Were they DS or? Uh, no. I haven't bought any of them. Uh, I bought all these from Dre's from the uh, the uh, so, Yeah, it's a shame about the market. It's annoying because I feel like I'm almost yeah. robbing you now. Nah, but good, well, yeah, um, I was robbing him, but do you know what? I know people are going to be like, yeah, you got mad, mad still, but it's convenience. I drove, give or take, two hour round trip just to pick these up. Obviously, it's worth it for the price, but yeah, he got robbed. Anyway, back to the video. I got these ones for retail when they came out, I remember. The, the retail receipt actually, yeah. I think. Because the funny thing is, like, I go to Union Newcastle, and this is just down the road for me. And that's, Newcastle? Yeah, that's end. <sighs> Do you know how you did that? Um, yeah, I scuffed it. <sighs> yeah. yeah. I got these for retail when these came out as well, funny enough. I used to I used to always buy pairs at retail. Yeah. Like this sort of time, 2018, 2017, 2019, but it's too hard to to get pairs nowadays, which is why I mean use I'm obviously like more established in that area, but it's more it's just easier to get pairs yeah. as well. Let me come back to these ones. I just want to double check these ones if that's all right. Double check these ones. I had a pair of these, just so uncomfortable yeah. in my opinion. I had the thingy ones, you know the the, the Georgetown ones, I like yeah. navy and grey. I bought them to keep, I just ended up selling them because there's something about this the, the shape of it that kills my feet. Yeah, I didn't it's not it's, the Jordan ones are comfortable, it's just yeah, these ones are fine. I just wanna check the pine green again. But yeah, the the other three are blessed. No, they can't, no, I can't. Yeah. I just wanted to double check. Sweet, so, 11 for all yeah. four, yeah? Can I pay pal friends and family, yeah. is that all right? Yeah. yeah, I suppose it's also, that's what I say to people when I'm buying, is the convenience of selling yeah. everything at once. You don't have to deal with, that's why, that's why I always ask if like you're near. Yeah. You can also tell, obviously you've got a fairly similar accent, so yeah. I can hear you. Oh no, well I paid for them now, so it's all right. Oh. Um, that is sent by the way. 
then. Yeah, Sweet man, perfect. Thank you. I appreciate that, bro. Just to give you an idea of how much of a steal that was, roughly, I'm gonna throw some numbers out. The off-whites, if I wanted to sell them quickly, I'll sell them for 750. The Travis Scott's, 650. The neutral greys, 100. And the pine greens, 100. 1,600 quid. So if I wanna sell them quickly, that's without listing them anywhere. All I do is throw them up on the store and sell them. That's 500 pounds profit. When buying and selling, it's not always that easy. I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I would typically pay more than that. However, he came to me, he's like, I'm not into shoes anymore. I just want to sell them. I said, for convenience, I'll come to you. So I've driven 45 minutes. And then I've got to drive 45 minutes back. Then I've got to sell the pairs. He's just got a K, 1.1K, just like that. Easy for him just to get rid of them. Obviously... I don't know if you heard, but he said he paid 1.3 just for the off-whites. So he lost at least 200 pounds on all of those shoes. But that's what I'm saying is if you know how to sell them and you know how to preserve them, you know what to pay, then you won't lose money. But I'm going to end this video right here. That is how easy a train of meat goes down when I'm cashing out a client. If you like these sorts of videos, let me know in the comments. And if you made it this far to the end, make sure you drop that lightning bolt emoji in the comment section below. However, guys, you need to like the video. Well, you don't need to, but if you did like the video, please drop a like, subscribe to the channel, put those notifications on, and that is me done for today's video. Peace.